Welcome, it's Andrew Ames of Golf Academy. As always, very warm welcome. Thanks for looking at the video today. One of the nice things about doing a few bits and pieces on um, YouTube is people send you products now and again to basically get your opinion on them. And I'm always very upfront when people say, can I send you this, can I send you that? I say, yeah, send it over, but my reviews will be very honest and, and impartial. There's no um, financial reward paid to me to give a um, good review, you know, it's just send me the product and I'll do a, a video on it and uh, you know, away we go. So that's kind of what happened. So I was sent some putter grips to try by a company called BGM, who as far as I'm aware, um, originated and they're based in Australia. The guy behind this putter grip, which I'm going to tell you all about in a minute, is a chap called Vaughan Mason. Now Vaughan, if you're watching the video, I think he, Vaughan originally originated from New Zealand, and I'm not sure if he's based in Hong Kong or Australia at the moment. Not sure. One or the other. Anyway, going back a few years, Vaughan and I think somebody else was involved in the original design, looked at putter grips. And these guys, Vaughan's a PGA professional, very highly qualified, and studied the biomechanics of putting and thought there must be a better grip to produce a better method. Now this is not just about potentially going and buying this putter grip, whacking it on your Scotty Cameron or your Odyssey putter and away you go. This is a whole putting system designed around this grip. So I think the best introduction is just to show you what the grip looks like. It's, it's very different to what you'd normally see and tell you why it's designed in this way and then I'll take you through how we hold it and a little bit about the technique. I will put links down below in the description to the BGM website. Lots of videos on there telling you a lot more in depth about it. Links to where you can buy the grips. I know they're, they're available over here in the UK. Um, I'm not sure if they ship worldwide, but you can go and have a little look at that online. So there's two sizes. I'm gonna go out of shot facially here, but you'll, you'll see the putter grips appear a little bit closer to you. This one over here, the lime green one, is the standard size one and this yellow one which you can see over my left hand is the what they call the undersized one. Now the first thing you'll notice about these grips, there's the head of the putter by the way, is that they look like they're kind of on back to front, don't they? Normally you would see a grip more like this and the name of the, the putter grips is called Katahi. Katahi, I'll just go back in shop for a minute. Katahi, from what I can ascertain, is a Maori word. And uh, Maori being the sort of indigenous people of New Zealand. And I think Katahi means, the loose translation is as one. So working as one, I think there's a bit more to it than that. I think it's a whole kind of, almost a, a, a way of life to a sort of degree, Katahi. But that's the name of the putter. So that's where you see this now coming from. So back to the putter grips themselves. You can see that we have the thin bit, if you like, at the front of the putter grip and the fatter bit at the bottom. It's very, very tactile. It's got this very soft silicon rubber. Um, quite sticky to feel. Very sort of very comfortable. Very sort of soft in the hand. Now... The reason why the putter grip is designed this way, I think the best explanation first of all would be to just to grab a sort of a conventional putter grip, like a super stroke style grip, which we see these days in various thicknesses. Though even with super stroke grips, and this is sort of a mid-sized version, what you can still get is you can still get sort of what we call radial deviation. So fancy word, isn't it? So sort of movement, if you like, the twisting of the of the wrists and the forearms. Now, I know there are some super stroke grips, fatsos, I think they call them, which are like almost holding a cricket bat, which will reduce that sort of that movement in the wrist. But what Vaughan's come up with this way is it's a completely different way of holding the grip. So the easiest way to explain it here is if I was to put both my, my palms of the hand up, okay, and point them to the ceiling. 
Now, I'm now going to place the bottom hand on first. So I've got the palm facing up to the ceiling, and I'm then going to place my palm into the putter grip. So my right thumb sits over onto the right hand side, okay? And then if I put the palm of my left hand up and just lay that one in the palm of the hand, I think if you bring the hands together or you have them split, I think that's a personal preference. I'm going to keep the hands fairly close together. So at this point here, biomechanically, I've got very little opportunity here to get radial deviation, twist or roll if you want. My hands and my arms and my wrists here are almost kind of locked onto the putter grip here. What it's going to promote is a movement which comes from the shoulders, which is great, but very, very little, if any, movement in the wrists this way or even that way. Now, if these hands, arms, wrists are kind of locked into position, imagine the effect it's going to have on the putter face. It's going to stop that putter face opening or closing, isn't it? Here's a few little bullet points which will flash up on screen as well. The putter system method, turning both palms up reduces the mobility in the joints of the hands and the arms, resulting in reduced unwanted movement in putter head, more consistent arc and stroke length, reduced face rotation, and the fourth one, which a lot of people out there, well hopefully not too many people, I want to whisper the word, yips. You may not have heard it, yips. There we go, I, I said it, I came out and said yips. Dreadful affliction. Yips is almost, um, it's not almost, it's a, sort of an uncontrollable movement, which there's a lot of people out there know a lot more about yips than I do, but it, it's, a phys it's a mental thing which produces a physical movement. And I've seen some pretty, very bad cases of the yips where the golfer will go in, he'll make, he or she will make the perfect putting stroke, you think, oh, that's all lovely, and you pop a ball there and there, and then, whoa! It's literally, you've got no control over the movement. Bernard Langer, very well documented. I think he went through the yips two to three times in his professional career. Anyway, Vaughan and his team have looked at the yips and they've had tremendous success of people curing the yips or reducing the tendency to yip using the Qatar, Qatar, <laughs> I do have a problem with this name coming out sometimes, Katohahi. <laughs> Kato, Katahi, there you go, Katahi, not Katohahi, Katahi, I've got it, okay, Katahi, Katahi, there we go, that's the name of it. Anyway, yeah, yeah. people have um, been able to cure or reduce the yips tremendously with this. So, there you go, it's a putter grip, but it's a whole method surrounding that. Let's get onto the putting green, hit a few putts, see how it performs with the Katahi. Very pleased I can say it there, putter grip. Be right back. Right, let's have a few rolls with this putter. Um, I've got it on a sort of a face balance mallet style, which has become kind of a very popular style of putter these days, isn't it? We're using putters that's 34 inches this one, might be 33 and a half. We're using putters which are shorter in length and heavier and face balance these days and we've got these wings on which improve the MOI, the resistance to twisting. Let's give this grip a go, see how it feels. Remember we're going palm up, palms up, palms up, little bend forward, let the arms hang down. One of the other things if you go on their website and look at the video, they do talk about having quite a wide stance as well, a sort of a wide base, which I kind of like, you know, in putting strokes as well, so it gives you that sort of solid anchor point, doesn't it? I like to put with the ball sort of center, just a fraction forward of center. Let's roll one. Good stroke, wandered around a little bit on the back swing there, but I managed to get the, the putter through nice and square. And there's, um, there's no clever editing going on here, folks. What you see is happening. You know, it's not like I've missed eight putts and then I just hold those, I did hold those first two putts straight off the bat. I'll hit some more in a minute. I'll probably miss a few just to prove it's not fixed. How does it feel? 
it feels very, what's the best description? Anchored is probably the best way. It feels like both my hands and my arms are just all working as a unit. And there is, it's very difficult to get this uh, rotation of the, of the wrists or the forearms or even the sort of the hinging, you know, any sort of movement. It all feels just, can't help but keep going back to the word solid. I can't think of a, a stable, you know, all those sorts of words apply. Three out of three. The record's 18 from this range. We'll hit a few more. I'm not going to go after the record, but that's three out of three from nine feet. Okay, there's a miss. Just, just to make me, just to make me look human. We'll go one more. Three out of four is not too bad from this range. Should be four out of five. Okay, honesty time. Is this a good putting grip? Is it a good putting system? I think it's definitely got potential. I know putting is very, very personal and there's lots of different ways to putt and putter grips and ways to hold it, claw grips, left below, right, you know, that styly, which still looks a bit dubious to me on occasions. Um, so yeah, very, very personal, but there's something here. If you're at sort of a crossroads of your putting at the moment and you've tried various different styles of putters and techniques, it's definitely worth a look. There's something in this. This is not just something that's been designed on a beer mat, you know. There's a lot of biomechanics and study and testing been going on. Now I've just hit five putts there from nine, 10 feet and hold four out of five. I could probably do that with a conventional putter grip in my hands as well. But there is something in there that, which kind of stops movement, which is what most people tend to miss putts because they've either misread it, misaligned the putter face to start with, or I've got some sort of opening or closing of the clapper face on the way back. So, you know, if we can eliminate one of those things, then happy days. So go and check it out. All details down below. Very interesting product. I've enjoyed trying it. And I will continue to get this out onto a proper green sometime and see how it performs in the real world. But in the sterile environment of my golf academy on a nice flat putting surface, it does perform well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and uh, I'll be back soon. All the best. Bye for now.